so the place where our pole is basically can give us some information about the stability of the the system right so and we can look at the transfer function because the transfer function gets multiplied by the Laplace transform of our input right so these multiplication would have the same poles if they don't get cancelled out they they would have the same poles right so like um, if this is unstable y of s is also going to be unstable so this is like um, usually the case where we want to have all our uh, poles to be on the left side so that our our response or our system is a stable right so as an example let's look at an example here let's say g of s is equal to um, s plus 2 divided by s2 plus 4s plus 3 that's um, a second order system because the order of the denominator is 2 the order of the numerator is 1 maximum is 2 so this is a second order system um, so if I want to find the um, the poles of this system the transfer function okay you can use the quadratic equation or simply you can see that this is s plus 1 times s plus 3 we have two poles, both of them are in the left hand side. Um, so um, this is basically um, shows that our system it's gonna be stable, right? So um, again, if I if you want to be sure, you can simplify this as a over s plus one. This is a good example to do partial fraction uh, decomposition or partial fraction uh, expansion so i can decompose this into these two terms right and now uh, if you want to find a and b we know that the denominators of these two are equal so the numerators also have to be equal so that these two are equivalent so it means like s plus 2 has to be equal to a times s plus 3a plus b times s plus b if i factor out s here this is a plus b this is one term and plus 3a plus b okay so if these two are equivalent, that means that their coefficient for s has to be the same. So it means a plus b has to be equal to 1, and the constants have to be the same. 3a plus b is equal to 2. Okay. Um, if you solve this system, you would find out that a is equal to 1 half, b is equal to 1 half. Okay, so this means that this is what we have. Right. So um, if, if you go to time domain, this would be 1 over 2 e to power negative t. This one is going to be 1 over 2 e to power negative 3t and both of them goes to zero as t goes to infinity right so this um, shows that um, our system is stable so a system is stable if i was actually looking i was actually looking at the um transfer function here uh, but also applies to signals if all the poles of the system are on the left hand side then it is stable if there is there exists one pole at least one pole there is at least one pole on the 
right hand side means that the system is going to be unstable because we're going to have a term that's this is going to be positive times t as t goes to infinity this goes to infinity in this case if all the terms all the pores on are on the left hand side means that all the tor all the <laughs> sorry all the terms are going to be like this and as t goes to infinity this goes to zero <clears throat> Okay, um, so here I was looking at the system that both our poles are only um, real. They only have real value. So this is real axis, this is imaginary axis. This was the case. Um, now let's look at another example. Let's look at this example. Okay, so um, uh, I want to find the poles of this uh, system. Um, so basically, I want to know like what is the answer to this equation. Um, you can write the quadratic equation to find the uh, roots of this um equation or this term this polynomial um i can also write this as s plus one squared plus one is equal to zero so it means that s plus one squared is equal to negative one right so this means that s plus one is equal to plus minus square root of negative one so this is the imaginary number so it means that it has two roots one of them is minus one plus j the other one is minus one minus j so for this system we have two roots um, they're always in pairs so if, if you have imaginary one of them is here minus one plus j and the other one it's going to be minus one minus j this is one one again these are in uh, left hand side okay so if um if i um both poles are in the left hand side so according to what i told you it is going to be a stable let's see why this is a stable um <clears throat> so this is like again i'm gonna use like one of the um one of the lines from your laplace transform table so uh if you look at your laplace transform table we have If you take Laplace transform of this one, whenever you have this, it would uh, have a. So we did like the co 